Liha and the Moon Rabbit by Eugene Ku. Liha had to take a shot back to a grassy village. Liha blew on leaf five. After one year, the squirrel Lucy appeared. Liha, Sasha, and Shabat hurried to the forest village with the squirrel Lucy. Liha's grandmother, who lives in Pink Lake, came in place of the forest village's doctor, Grandpa Cricket, and an eager hour brought to Grandma Laura. Shabat, can you tell me what you ate? Grandma asked. Cherries, raspberries, and and grandma's antenna moved. I had a bite of a mushroom. Shabat said. Oh, I see. You'll be all right soon. Don't worry. I'll give you an injection now, gently and quickly. Your stomachache will soon stop. Rabbit can't digest sweet and juicy fruits and mushrooms. As all my friends, I gave him fruit and mushrooms. We are very sorry for his shortcomings. I'm online, Riha. The stomach pain is already gone. Shortcomings said softly. On a dim night in the woods, Shabat's stomach cake got better. Cricket Grandpa was back. It was time for Grandma Laura to go to the Pink Lake House. Grandma Laura moved her green wings and plucked it in the air. Riha believed that her grandma Rora was a magical fairy. Grandma Rora sprinkled the stardust to bless the caterpillar kiwis and rabbit shellbats. Riha and Shabat climbed the tree and watched their grandma Laura and Eagle Hour lead down to their pink lake. It was like reaching the moon. Everything was so beautiful. The caterpillar friends and the rabbit Shabat talked all night, looking at the night sky. Shabat's moon rabbit story was warm and nice, like a lullaby. See you in the following story.